Well, hello guys. Welcome to this uh, very special video course on programming questions for placement preparation. So in this video lecture series, what we are going to do, we are going to look at various important and popular programming questions that we happen to encounter often in our placement experiences. So what we will be doing, we will be uh, looking at the problems and we will also be looking at the approaches to solve the problem which will require you know uh, a very efficient use of the time and memory provided so let's start so today the problem we're going to see is titled as find triplets with zero sum so uh, let's have an explanation of this problem the problem says given an array a of n elements the task is to complete the function which returns true if triplets exist in array whose sum is 0 else returns false so basically if we have an array of integers which are both which can both be positive or negative we have to find uh, a set of three such integers whose sum is 0 if uh, we can find those uh, triplets then we should return true otherwise false so uh, we'll be designing a pro program basically where we will obviously return true if we find such triplets but we will also mention the triplets like we will also mention the integers uh, uh, with which those triplets uh, can be formed now if we are discussing about the approach the very simple and naive approach would be uh, you know running actually three for loops uh, which will take a time complexity of big o of n cube but whenever uh, it's about uh, you know someone is questioning uh, about some programming concepts it always sees the way you can tackle the memory efficiency and time efficiency for a program uh, that it consumes so uh, we will not go for the big o of n cube approach so talking about the approach uh, the algorithm for uh, tackling this problem will be we will first sort the array uh, then we will run a loop from 0 to n minus 2th element where n is the total number of elements uh, n minus 2th element means the loop will run for i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus now uh, inside this for loop we will take two variables low or and high or like left and right whatever you assume l and r we will take for this video l will be assigned a value of i plus 1 and r will be assigned a value as n minus 1 so uh, take an i and for that i l and r will be uh, the array uh, except uh, or excluding the ith element the leftmost element and the rightmost element of that array excluding the ith element that's the uh, l and r funda okay and now uh, after we take this l and r we're going to again run a while loop and this is the uh, end loop like uh, we will not another loop inside this while so we'll check uh, while l is less than r we'll check if a of i uh, plus a of l and plus a of r will is equal to zero or not if it is so then we will return true so we have found a triplet which consists of a of i a of l and a of r in that case we will increase the l and decrease the r you see we are at the two corners of that array the array excluding the ith element so if we are uh, finding a triplet which consists then at the l and r then we will not uh, need to check it so we will uh, move rightwards from the left point of the array and leftwards from the rightward uh, right point of the array so l plus plus r minus minus i'll do it in the program uh, otherwise if we see that the sum is less than zero then we will only increment the l and if we see the sum is greater than zero that is the else part we will only decrease the r uh, lastly uh, it may happen that there's no uh, you you see there's a no triplet actually possible so we'll return a false uh, for that default condition so uh, let's now jump on to the programming part and see how we can do it okay uh, so i have already created a c++ file i'm going to code in c++ so basically what i first need is i need an array and uh, let's say an uh, array of a so uh, let me just take a very simple array i'll not take a lot of uh, elements here i'll take only five let's say so uh, let's see minus two then one then zero then minus one and lastly again one 
so the array is taken in such a way so that we can find two triplets one will be you see this very uh, easy to search for a human actually so it's like minus two one and one this is one triplet one plus one minus two is zero and another one will be one zero minus one one minus one plus zero is zero now uh, i'll take the size of the array so in size okay uh, let me just name it size of array this is going to be size of array minus by size of a of 0 not double zero so now uh, we need to use a function here to find the triplet so we'll simply actually use a function find triplet i'll name it and the arguments will be uh, rather parameters will be the array itself and the size of the array right so i'll just copy this name of the function this is called the signature of a function so that I can define it. So the return type will be void. Uh, this is an integer type of array. And here as an argument, I'll not take such a big name. I'll simply say n. Let me get rid of that semicolon. So here, uh, the first task is that, is that uh, you see, I need to remember one thing that if I do not find uh, any single triplet, I need to return false or like that or I need to set a condition that yes uh, I cannot find a triplet so I need to print a message that no triplet is found so for that uh, I can take a you know flag variable let me uh, you know have a boolean type of flag variable which is uh, set to false okay and now I need to sort the array so let me just use this function sort uh, a the array will be passed as a parameter and the uh, size so uh, sort array I'll define this sort array function actually so again copying the signature the return type is void so so basically to sort I'm going to use a very simple selection sort uh, I'll not obviously discuss the logic behind it because you already know it so very simple I'm gonna take these three variables now I'm gonna run two loops i equals to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus and inside this another for loop We'll start with j is equal to i plus 1 j is less than n and j plus plus sorry okay here I need to assign i to this min name min m variable uh, you can just see a minimum so here uh, I'm going to check this condition if array of j is less than array of i if this is the condition then we're going to say a minimum is equals to j now out of this inner loop uh, we're going to take a temporary variable and we'll store this array of i here now i'm just swapping the ith and minimum th kind of element so array of i uh, will be assigned with the value of array of uh, minimum and at this index array of minimum I'll assign this temp right so yes the sorting is done so now after I sort this array I'm going to do the main thing that is I'm going to run a loop here so for int i is equals to 0 i less than n minus 1 this loop is going to be running for or n minus 2 times so i plus plus now here i'm going to take two variables l and r as i said this is going to be having an initial value of i plus 1 and this r is going to have an initial value of n minus 1 
I'm going to take another variable, let's say m, which will have this value array of i. Now uh, I'm going to run this while loop, the last loop, not we will not need another loop here. And that's what actually makes the time complexity a big of n square, not a big of n cube. So here while l is less than r, we are going to check if m plus array of l plus array of r is equals to 0. If this is the case, then what we are going to do, we are going to print the uh, triplets uh, separated, the triplets actually. Uh, inside the triplet, we have three integers and we will be separating them by a space. So, uh, first the m, then a space, then the array of l, then another space, then the array of sorry r and lastly i'll just use this n line and i'll increase the l decrease the r and i'm, I'm going to set this flag is equal to true it means yes we have found a triplet now i'm going to use a uh, else if condition is that mm, this condition here if this sum of these three elements is less than zero if it is less than zero then what we are going to do we are only going to increment the l otherwise otherwise means if this sum is greater than zero then we are going to decrement the value of r right lastly uh, out of the for loop we are going to check the value of the flag if flag is false then we are going to print down a message that says no triplets rather I should say zero sum triplets found and, and the end line right so uh, our program looks uh, all ready to run so let's run it okay so we have got the result so as uh, in the beginning of the uh, program i told you that we will uh, be finding two triplets here uh, as per the array we took we, s we can see here the output has come as two triplets one is minus two one and one so one plus one minus two is zero another one is minus one zero and one uh, we obviously can sense it that it equals to zero So uh, this was the perfect approach for this, uh, you know, zero sum triplet problem for arrays. Hope you like it. Uh, thank you for watching this video and staying with us. See you next time.